Hey everyone, I am Nathaniel Rubble Jantz and welcome to Prime News. But before we get into today's episode, we got five stories for you. Uh, we added chapters and stuff, by the way, so you can kind of skip to different parts of this video. Uh, I want to remind you that we have two giveaways going on at the same time. Uh, one is for three copies of Super Mario 3D All-Stars. The other is for a Nintendo Switch Lite and then two Switch games of choice. To enter those giveaways, go down into the description. There's a laundry list of ways. Also, make sure you are subscribed because if you win and you're not subscribed, I will be picking a different winner. This These giveaways are for our subscriber base. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get into today's prime news. And we're starting with, well, Microsoft bought Bethesda. I mean, it happened. Microsoft is making bank and throwing money around, or spending their bank anyways. Uh, Bethesda was bought out for $7.5 billion. <laughs> That's right. 7.5 bills were spent on this. Uh, Microsoft, Phil Spencer did do like an interview in, in lieu of all this and did note that current exclusive commitments to PlayStation 5 that are supposed to be exclusive, like Deathloop that is being made under the Bethesda umbrella, will be left alone. They are going to honor those commitments. Also, things like Doom Eternal coming to Switch will be honored. They have no plan to cancel any current contractual plans between Bethesda and their umbrella of studios and them. Now, technically, they bought ZeniMax Studios, if you want to be correct, and ZeniMax Studios is the one that owns everything. Whatever. The point is, they bought them out, and uh, yeah, now Microsoft has a big boost to their profile. We have yet to see how things are going to work. They did say that all future Bethesda games will be coming to Xbox and PC, with other consoles being on a case-by-case um, manner. I don't know. Like Microsoft has said this this entire time that every game they make is going to be decided on case by case basis on if it comes to other platforms. Obviously, we've seen Ori come to other platforms. We've seen uh, other games they have, you know, come out to other platforms like Minecraft. Of course, Minecraft was always on other platforms. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what they do. Are they going to lock down the bigger titles like the new Elder Scrolls game to Game Pass and Xbox and try to boost subscription services? Are are they going to go for the quick buck and also release it on PlayStation 5? These are the questions we're not going to have answers for for quite some time. I have a feeling it's going to be more keep it on the Xbox side of things so they can push subscriptions more. But we'll see what happens. Are we going to get a Super Smash Bros. character reveal next week? Well, we actually have some strong evidence to suggest otherwise. So this user on Twitter called Anua Lut uh, came out and essentially posted the, this image. And the image is of an ad for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's Fighter Pass at a 7-Eleven in Japan. Now you might wonder, what's an ad have to do with anything? Well, the ad is set to expire on October 4th. Okay, who cares? It's just an ad, right? They're just keeping an ad up till that date, swapping it out for something else. Well, here's the deal. The last two times Nintendo revealed characters for Smash, they had an ad like this at 7-Elevens in Japan with a date of expiration. And both times the characters were revealed three days before the date of expiration. Just throwing that out there. On top of that, the date of expiration is October 4th. Three days before is October 1st. And October 1st lands on a Thursday next week. And we all know Thursdays are traditionally the day that Nintendo does big announcements, directs, whatever on. Now, this is 2020. And 2020 has been a super funky year. But, you know... Maybe this is happening. Maybe they're going to stay consistent with what they've been doing with this. Min Min was announced earlier this year in a very similar fashion where there was an ad up three days before. They did the Min Min announcement. Then they replaced it. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. All, it, it does kind of point to that it's happened twice. So we're going to have it happen again. Keep our fingers crossed because all of us, all of us really want a new Smash reveal. This is kind of a consumer warning, and I wanted to throw this in here because you guys need to know about this. Activision is currently under attack and hacked. Activision accounts are crazily at expense here. Something like 10,000 accounts a minute or something like that. It's insane. What's happening is Activision has been hacked. All the accounts are compromised. Your passwords, your emails, your usernames, your payment information. Activision is aware of this, and they're currently trying to put a stop to it. I don't know what's happening. Maybe they shut down the servers by now. Beats me, but it's a massive, massive hack. And at the time of recording, over 500,000 people have already been affected, likely over a million or more by the time you guys actually watch this. If you have an account with Activision, an Activision-specific account, 
please change your password. Please remove all of your payment information. Also, disconnect your account from Xbox Live, PlayStation Network, and Battle.net because while those specific services are not affected, it is possible through this hack that they could gain access to those accounts on those platforms and get your payment information off of there and also your account login information. This is a very critical, critical thing. Call of Duty, all this stuff, like Activision has some of the biggest games in the world and you use this account even on mobile devices. It needs to be warned right now. Like I'm doing this for you guys' benefit. Go out there and change your passwords and remove your payment information off of anything your Activision account has touched. Like it's the best thing you can do in case your account isn't affected yet, but will be affected later. You can obviously close the account as well, but you know, I assume you're going to want to play Call of Duty and other stuff in the future. Activision is sure to lock the hammer down on this eventually and get it fixed, I presume within a day or so, but still... This is important. I do not want people losing thousands and thousands of dollars because their payment information got leaked. I don't want them having their accounts sold. I don't want anything crazy happening, okay? I really, really, really want to help you guys out. So this is why this PSA is basically in here for one of our big news items today because this is very important. On a lighter note, Target has revealed a new bundle exclusive to Target, which launches on, well, <laughs> surprisingly, October 4th. Uh, and that is for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and Mario Party, Super Mario Party to be specific, uh, it is launching at $99 in the United States. Very interesting price point because that's only $10 less than what you can buy Super Mario Party and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for on its own. But definitely this seems like a big holiday push exclusivity deal with Target. So they have like, hey, come here for Switch stuff. Come here for video games because we have this exclusive bundle. Now it is kind of weird that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is bundled in with literally everything. But you know what? That's just, that's just what Nintendo do though. It's really popular game. Sells in top 10 every month. So... There you go. If you don't have these games for some odd reason, they're both best sellers. Uh, this is kind of a sweet bundle to go check out. They're taking pre-orders for it right now. I'll put a pre-order link down in the description. Not an affiliate link because Target doesn't work with me. Damn you, Target. And our last topic of the day is kind of a silly one. I mean, most of the topics before were bigger than this, but this is one that I find hilarious. So the Mario pin sets are now live. Uh, for those who don't know, it was announced in the 35th anniversary uh, direct from Nintendo that there will be this, this special pin set you can get through My Nintendo Rewards, but you would have to pay for shipping. So basically, you pay five bucks for shipping, you get this limited quantity, exclusive supply pin set that's from a whole bunch of different Mario games. It's and most people might not care if they weren't free, but you know what? They are free for well, minus shipping. So I, I think it's really cool. You can go try to get it right now. There's certain things you have to basically buy Super Mario 3D All Stars, complete four other Mario related tasks in the program, and then you can get it. Great. Sounds simple. The site's been having issues all day as people try to get a hold of it. But as these are limited quantity, and as with anything that's limited quantity and while supplies last, which basically means they're only going to make one print of these pins, they're selling on eBay. Scalpers are buying them up like crazy and trying to flip them on eBay for $500 to $1,000. Now, whether or not they actually sell at this price psh, beats me. I personally wouldn't spend that much on these. I think you'll be able to find them under $50 eventually. It's kind of like the Zelda coins, the Breath of the Wild Zelda coins from E3 2016. You can usually find those between you know 50 to 70 bucks. The, the pin sets are going to drop in price even with the limited quality. I guarantee you of that. So, yeah, it's don't do it. Go try to redeem it if you can. And if they're all out and sold out and you're not going to get them and you really want these pins, let's wait for the reseller prices to come down. Do not go out and spend a $500 to $1,000. I mean, you can get... Literally, for 500 you can get an Xbox Series X or a PlayStation 5. For 1000 bucks, you can build a nice gaming PC. Don't do this. Wait. The prices will come down as long as people don't spend this amount on those scalpers. Same thing is true for everything else being scalped. Now, PlayStation 5 prices, you want them to come down from scalpers? Stop buying them. I understand that like 700 bucks might not seem that bad, but I'm telling you, don't. Let the scalper prices come down. Let them lose out, and then it becomes cheaper for everyone. Secondhand market's always going to exist, and I don't have any issue with it existing. But we don't need to get, be giving these people double, triple, quadruple, or in this case for the pin set, 1,080% profits. All right, folks? Just don't do it. And that's going to do it for today's episode of Prime News. Now, remember, Prime News is here Monday through Friday to give you a bunch of news stories all in one versus my individual videos. Hopefully, all of you new subscribers and old are enjoying Prime News being back because I enjoy being here. Do you? And yeah, I'm wearing glasses. I know. Hopefully, the glare is not too bad. I think I have it set up so it won't be. Um, my contacts are ripped, so... 
Yay! I have to wait for new ones to come in. It's all right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next episode of Prime News. Yes. yes.